Because shouldn't we be allowed to listen to a radio station that caters for people with an IQ above 95? Yeah. Yes, we should be allowed to. Should be allowed to. Because the BBC spends money on things I don't like, but I don't complain. I'm an atheist. I don't believe there should be religious programming. But maybe you, maybe you feel that rather than going to church and listening to hymns, you feel that the BBC has a duty to pipe hymns into your living room. Fine. You can have songs of praise, but shouldn't we be allowed to be lulled into wakefulness of a Sunday morning by the dulcet tones of Karis Matthews? Yes, we should be allowed to. Maybe you think that Andrew Lloyd Webber shouldn't have to spend money hiring a rehearsal studio to hold his auditions. Maybe you think the BBC somehow has a duty to hold open auditions and advertise his shows for him on the national network. Maybe just because he's a Tory lord, yet Alan Sugar's not allowed on the telly because he's a Labour lord. Maybe you think that's fair enough. I'm a straight man. I don't co care who the next Dorothy is. But fine, you can have that show. But by the same token, can't we have Steve Lamack ask somebody whether it's a good day or a bad day? Yes! Yes, we should be allowed to! Maybe you're like me and you feel that Jodie Marsh should only be on the television during a news report of her untimely death in a horrible threshing accident. But maybe you also think she should be given a make-under by a computer in a show called Snug Marry a Void. Fine, you can have that. But shouldn't we be allowed to hear John Holmes play Cheese or Band I Found on MySpace? Yes, we should be allowed to. Maybe you feel there's not enough R&B and youth-oriented music on Radio 1, and there should be a whole other channel devoted on digital to Radio 1 Extra and more noise than you can shake a stick at, which is what it sounds like they're doing. Fine, have Radio 1 Extra. But by the same token, shouldn't we be allowed to listen to Jarvis Cocker tell us things we didn't know about music? Yes, we should be allowed to. I don't like sport. Particularly not when it's sponsored by the Royal Bank of Scotland, because that means as a licence fee payer and a taxpayer, I'm paying for the bastard twice. But fine, maybe you want to see 22 millionaires kick a ball around the fields. Maybe you want to watch people hit a tennis ball back and forth. Have Wimbledon. Have the world. Have what you like. But can't we have Guy Garvey tell us we didn't know about music? Yes, we should be allowed to. I'm sure I had one more. All right, six music has its faults. Yes, some of the DJs might be a little unprofessional. Maybe George Lamb has said Shabba one too many times. Maybe, and maybe Stuart McConey's Freak Soak can be, quite frankly, quite a challenging listen at times. But I'll tell you one thing about Six Music that you won't hear elsewhere. You will never hear a DJ on Six Music interview an astrologer about the fact that we have a hung parliament because Mercury is rising. As you will hear elsewhere on the BBC. Yes, Steve, right in the afternoon, I'm talking to you. <laughs> An astrologer for crying out loud. I don't mean to be slagging other areas of, of radio, but of the BBC, but I think when he calls it the big show, he was confusing the term big with the term cloyingly mediocre. <laughs> I'm sorry. But we, we should be allowed to hear music. We should be allowed to hear things that, 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 are, that are catered to people over the age of five. Shouldn't we? Yes, we should be allowed to. Yes, we should be allowed to. Save six music. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day.